In today's video, we're going to have a look at the minor pentatonic scale. So we're going to learn it in two ways today. We're going to learn how to play it open. And then we're going to look how to play it um, fretted on every note. Because this will allow us to move the position around. Because once we've learned that finger pattern, you can move it to start on any fret along this E string the guitar and you'll you'll have a minor pentatonic scale so first of all then string names so um, at this point hopefully you'll know what your strings are called um, if not the order starting at the top on the thickest string will go E A D G B E um, and a little um, phrase to help remember it would be um, Eddie A Dynamite Good Bye Eddie so that's just taking the first letter of each word will give you the, the note name of each string. So now we've got our string names. Uh, our fingers on our left hand, if we just number them quickly, you'll have one, two, three, and four. So for our first uh, bit of this open pentatonic scale, we don't need any fingers. All we're going to do is pluck our bass E string, that top string, um, open, so nothing on. Then we're going to want to press our third fret down on that same string. And for that, we're going to use our third finger. So just behind that third fret, pop that third finger so your fingertips touch in. Nice, nice bit of pressure, not squeezing that hard, but just enough that the note rings clearly. If you don't put enough pressure on, you might get this noise. Hear that buzz. Um, just squeeze a little bit tighter. The other thing, if you do get a bit of fret buzz that could be causing it, is if your finger has been put on a bit too low down the, down the fret. So we're aiming for the third fret. Say you put your finger right in the middle of the third fret, or even a little bit too far to the uh, towards the second fret, you're typically going to get that horrible buzz. So nice and tight up, right at the top of the fret. You get a nice clear note. So we've got open on the E, and then third finger on the third fret. Then going down to the next string, we've got an open A string, and then. On the A again, we're going to want to play the second fret this time with our second finger. So if we stack that up, we've got open, third, open, second. Now the next um, string is exactly the same as the A string. So the next string down is your D string. So you're going to put that open first and then use your second finger to press down on that second fret and then you've got your scale so that's one octave taking you from your lowest E up to the next E um, upwards so that's your open pentatonic scale so the way you want to practice that is get a metronome on um, you can find them on Google I think Google's actually got an app if you type metronome into Google and it'll come up at the top um, set it so there's a click at sort of like maybe 60 BPM to start with is a good good starting point, but slow is always, um, if, if needed, always good. So slow it down to whatever speed you think would be comfortable and try and match up one note per click. And just get that pattern going up a few times. When you get to the top of the scale, don't pluck the top note again. So you've already hit it once, come straight back in mirror image. So what you do is you, you've just put the second fret on the D on the way up. So then we're gonna flick back. So you're gonna go open D, then second finger on the A string, second fret, and then still on the A string, but open. Then you go to the third fret on the E string, and that's with your third finger, and then open E again to finish. So all the way up and down, that should sound like this. So that's your E minor pentatonic scale because it's starting on an E note, an open E. Um, if you get comfortable with that left hand and you're not having to pay too much attention to it, then start thinking about your right hand. So your right hand, um, to start with, you'll be more comfortable just plucking downwards every time. But obviously, if you're doing that, we're missing half of your potential speed because every time you put down, if you can catch it, catch the next note on the way up, whatever you can do down, you can effectively double if you alternate those, those picking directions. So as you're going down the scale, your right hand would go down, up, down, up, 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And when your right when your right hand's ticking, try and make sure it's nice small movements, all coming from the wrist. Look, try not to move your elbow. Um, just tiny, tiny wrist movements, um, and just keep everything you know relaxed and loose. Nothing, nothing too tense. Because if you tense up, you're, you're hitting, you know, getting faster is going to get much harder. So that's the open uh, E minor pentatonic scale. What we'll do now is we'll look at how we can play it uh, in a movable position. Um, so for this for this example, we're going to do it in the key of G, but you can do any key that you want. Um, it's in the key of G because we're starting on the third fret of the E string, which is a G note. So you want your first finger, third fret of the bass E. You want to give that a pluck. Now, with your little finger, so this is going to be the tricky bit for a lot of people if you're not used to using your little finger, drop that onto the sixth fret of the E string as well and give that a pluck. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go with your first finger to the third fret of the A string and give that a pluck. Then your third finger wants to come across to the fifth fret of the A string, give that a pluck. And then the D string, um, just like in the last pattern, mirrors the A string. So we're going to go first finger, third fret of the D, and then third finger, fifth fret of the D. And then once we've got that scale mapped out, we play it in exactly the same way as the open. So we'd go up the scale. top note, come straight back in reverse order. And what you can do is start practicing, learning your notes along the E string and then move, starting this scale on different frets um, because say for example you start to learn your notes, so first fret would be F, third fret would be G, fifth fret would be an A note on the on the E string. Um, you can then effectively play an F minor pentatonic by starting that pattern, that second pattern on the first fret. If you start it on the fifth fret, which is an A note, it becomes an A minor pentatonic. And so on. You can do, you know, C sharp. It doesn't matter what scale you're in, as long as the piece is in a minor key, um, you should be able to play along to it um, once you've got the hang of this, this scale or play over the top um, just by finding the relevant root note uh, along your E string and then starting your scale on that, on that root note. Um, so have a bit of a play and then uh, in the next video we'll look at extending these scales um, into the next octave so you get the full run all the way across six strings uh, and that's where we'll start to look at a bit more improvisation.